What's up YouTube? If you're watching this, I'm hoping that you're having a great day. Today's video is a little bit different than some of the videos I've done in the past. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Nike Infinity React shoe, which is this shoe right here. I'm just going to be giving my own personal opinion on this shoe, along with some of the specs of this shoe. And I'm going to be breaking down the look of the shoe, the make of the shoe, price of the shoe, and how it feels running. Nike's actual name for this shoe is the Nike React Infinity Run Flyknit. It's a very long name, it doesn't really flow well off the tongue, and I would say that most runners know this shoe as the Nike Infinity React, which is the name that I typically go with for this shoe. So just based off of look, this is the platinum, black, and pink blast color of this shoe. It's a white shoe with the platinum pink blast and the black here on the side. And I'll admit this looks like a very stylish tennis shoe. Very eye-catching, very clean. If I didn't run in a pair of these, I would probably just wear this around, like even in some nice outfits, jeans, nice shirt. Because it's just a shoe that just looks really, really good. Now getting into the make and price of this shoe. So Nike really isn't known for putting a lot of cushioning on their shoes until the past few years. But this shoe is supposed to be labeled as an injury prevention shoe, which is why it has so much cushioning here. Nike made this shoe to be an everyday trainer for the road or the track. It has a 30.5 millimeter sack height in the heel, 21.5 in the forefoot, so it's about a 9 millimeter draw. The weight of this shoe is 9.6 ounces. And looking at this amount of cushioning, if you compare it to a Hoka, it is a little bit heavier than a Hoka. On the bottom, we have this very soft, Tempur-Pedic like foam, which is really meant to absorb a lot of that impact and get you more last out of the shoe. Now moving up in the shoe, when we get to the forefoot, just looking at it, it's a very wide forefoot. So I myself have wide feet. In these shoes, I noticed that there was plenty of room. It wasn't even too much room, I would say, um, up in the forefoot. Now working our way back, there's only four lace holes in this shoe, which could be an issue for some people, especially trying to tighten these shoes all the way. Because when we get it more towards the ankle, we notice that there's like, it's kind of like a sock on this shoe. So it's all attached in one, and it's supposed to hug like your ankle. However, I noticed that your foot tends to slip out a little bit just walking around, but that feeling is completely gone when you're running. So that is what you're getting for $160 for this shoe. So I'm actually gonna go on a run now. Just have 20 minutes, gonna wear these, and I'm just gonna give you my overall opinion on how they feel on my feet. So guys, I just finished up with my run. I've only ran about eight miles or so in the Infinity Reacts, but I'll admit, I really like them. I was a big fan of Hoka's, still am. I ran in Hoka's for about nine months or so, and then I decided to try these out. And honestly, my initial reaction in these is so much better than my initial reaction in the Hoka's. So me personally, I think I found myself a new trainer. That's just my personal opinion. You guys will have to try the shoes out yourselves to see if you like them. I recommend if you can to go to a store, um, try them on first, walk around in them, maybe take a few strides just to see that they feel good on your feet. 
because not all shoes will match your feet. But I definitely recommend the Nike Infinity Reacts. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up down below. I post a ton of running content on here, and I have some big stuff coming up in the future. You guys will see another video about that in about a week or two. But it's just going to be some really big news that I wanted to share to you guys. But that's all for the video, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.